multi-ethnic flavor permeates Little Tokyo in LA by Takashi Horiuchi, the Asahi Shingen, 2009, April 20th. Los Angeles. The smell of Korean barbecue sauce wafts through the air as Chinese and Thai conversations add flavor to the street buzz. Although the signs of many shops and restaurants remain in Japanese, this bustling downtown area called Little Tokyo for the for most of the past century is certainly not what it used to be. Little Tokyo, a strip of land 700 meters east-west and 500 meters north-south, has become more international, or rather multi-ethnic, multilingual, and multicultural. The town has seen a sharp rise in the Korean population in recent years, while young Japanese Americans are leaving the area. Symbolic of the town's ethnic crucible, Today is a, is a food stall that opens on Thursdays, Thursday evenings near the Japanese American National Museum. Mark Munguera, a Filipino American, operates the stall that sells tacos with Korean style barbecued meat filling. Enticed by the sauce's sweet smell, people form a long line, many of them Filipinos, Thais, Koreans, and other Asian immigrants. Three tacos cost $5. On the streets, Chinese and Korean, among many other languages, can be heard among with, uh, along with Japanese and English. At Miyako Hotel in the town center, eight of ten guests used to be Japanese. Now seven in ten are Americans. In recent years, redevelopment of downtown Los Angeles attracted more young residents, including students, to apartment complexes with reasonable rents. Little Tokyo soon became popu a popular hangout of those people. The town's transformation from a Japanese to multi-ethnic community reflects changes in the Nik Nikkei Jin, Japanese American community in the United States. Japanese immigrants to the United States began Japanese immigration to the United States began in the late 19th century. Around that time, a Japanese fisherman opened a Japanese restaurant where Little Tokyo now stands. The moniker was given to the town around 1905. But the Asian Exclusion Act of 1924, which virtually banned immigration from Asia, dampened the Japanese inflow. After the Nikkei Jin we were sent to internment camps during World War II, the town was briefly called Bronzeville because of the many black residents there. After the war, Japanese returned to the town and during Japanese, Japan's bubble er era of the 1980s, many Japanese businesses set up shop. The current Nikkei Jin society comprises mainly descendants of early immigrants. Most were born as Americans and educated in the United States. The younger Nikkei people do not need Little Tokyo, said Yuki Kaozu Nakashima, who had long served as editor for the Japanese section of the Rafui Shinpo newspaper. He said those pursuing professional careers as doctors and lawyers believe they cannot succeed if they rely solely on the Nikkei Jin society. The town has also lost its significance as a place to support the Japanese community. For example, Japanese foods that were available only in Little Tokyo can now be found throughout the city. Meanwhile, the Korean presence has gained weight. Last year, Korean investors bought the Little Tokyo shopping center which housed Japanese supermarket Mitsuwa Marketplace. The center is now called Little Tokyo Marketplace and the store Little Tokyo Galleria Market. The Japanese and Koreans form the largest groups of residents in Little Tokyo at roughly the same size. The ratio of Korean students is especially high at homes for seniors. Oh, not students. <laughs> The ratio of Korean residents is especially high at homes for seniors, including the 300-unit Little Tokyo Towers, where the number of Korean households rose more than threefold over seven years from 30 in 2000. And 74 Koreans make up the largest group of people living at the 100-unit Miyako Gardens. Korean immigration sharply increased first in the mid-1950s when Korean women married to American soldiers after the Korean War crossed the Pacific. The second wave started around 1965 
when the national origin quotas on immigrants was lifted, were lifted. In the past decade, more than 16,000 Koreans obtained U.S. citizenship annually, compared with about 2,000 Japanese. Koreatown, about seven kilometers west of Little Tokyo, continues to expand, but residences for seniors are short in supply there. So when Japanese le leave Little Tokyo, Koreans move in. Pastor Hong Sun Kim, born in South Korea and raised in Japan, promotes exchanges between Japanese and Koreans. Kim, 39, works at the Little Tokyo Services Center, LTSC, a social welfare organization and is in charge of care for Korean residents. In January 2008, he set up the, the Little Tokyo Korean and Japanese Better Relations Committee with residents from both sides. The committee held a Japan-Korea friendship concert in August with the profits used to produce bilingual publicity bulletins. Kim admits that Japanese-Korean friction has also crossed the Pacific. Koreans told him once that someone snipped off the buds of the shrubby althea, South Korea's national flower, that they had planted. Japanese have asked why a Korean like him works at the Center for Japanese Residents. Back in Japan, Kim was known as a Zainichi, Korean resident. During his military service in South Korea, he was labeled with a derogatory term meaning half Japanese. Kim's work for Japan-Korea exchanges is part of his effort to pursue his own identity. To bring down prejudice, there is no way but to eliminate misunderstandings through dialogue, Kim said. Meanwhile, there are also efforts to revive Little Tokyo as a Japanese community. We, we don't want to say they, we don't want to say they, non-Japanese, are not welcome, said LTSC Executive Director Bill Watanabe, a third generation Japanese American. We want to tell them to keep Japanness and just respect our history. Watanabe, 65, who was born in a wartime internment camp, has high expectations for a new Budokan sports facility to be built in the town at the cost of $15 million. Besides a martial arts hall, it will have a multi-purpose gym that can hold four separate basketball games. When completed in five years, it could be used to hold the annual Los Angeles Nikkei Jin Basketball Tournament, Watanabe said. It can bring young Nikkei back to Little Tokyo, she said. We want young Japanese-American am families to use it. Parents can tell their kids about their roots in LT. A plan to build a Nikkei Center, a residence office shopping complex, is also underway to attract Japanese businesses. It is not the first time, whoops, that's it, oh, that's it. <laughs>